So we are about to go to the most weird and wonderful place. This has never been vlogged before, even by me. Okay. Simon hasn't been either. I haven't been. And when you see the outside, you're going to think there's nothing behind these doors. And it is a magical wonderland of painting of pottery and tiles. You're saying all the all right the words. I go know, let's go. Welcome back everyone. Today we have the most exciting video for you. Last week, our lovely friends Stephanie and Philip from the Chateau Diaries came to visit and we went on an extraordinary excursion. Let me tell you a little bit about why this was so meaningful to all of us. I'm an artist, I paint porcelain. I have a great love of hand-painted tiles like the Portuguese blue and white tiles and also the incredible faience that exists all over France. I've been painting porcelain for 12 years, but I am fascinated by all of these beautiful, incredible, and intricate techniques that we see around us that create these amazing works of art. Tin glazed earthenware is known by many names. The earliest examples of this type of pottery date back to Iraq in the 9th century, and the technique of tin glazing spread through the Islamic world with trade and the movement of artisans from its origin in Persia through the Near East, Egypt, and North Africa before arriving in Islamic Spain. The Spanish became known for this type of pottery, especially the area around Mallorca, hence the name Mayolica. Then around 1400, the Italians began their own version during the Renaissance, and the first major center of production for this was Florence. By the 1500s, Mayolica was being produced in many locations around Italy, including Naples and Faenza which is where we get the French name Faience, after the town of Faenza. Also in the 16th century, we have a trend in the Netherlands for the same type of tin glazed earthenware, but they were more inspired by the Chinese imports and the Chinese glazes that were predominantly blue and white in their color palettes. And though production started in Amsterdam, it quickly moved to Delft, hence the term Delftware, which brings us right back to our doorstep here in France. French faience, which was hugely popular between the 1500s to the early 20th century. Although I have to say some of us still really love it today, and there are a few very special artists still creating these works just like they were created 500 years ago. Today we're going to take you to meet who is possibly the oldest living person here in France that's doing this incredible skill. His atelier is extraordinary. He even takes us around to see parts of his home, his garden. At the end of it, astonishingly, he allows us to buy some of his treasured items from his shop. But more than that, as you can see here, I'm having a painting day and I'm going to introduce you to one of my oldest friends. A lot of you have met some of my incredible friends that I've met through YouTube over the last couple of years. But I also, of course, have old friends that I've had here in France for a long time. And I have one of my very best friends in the world here visiting. She happens to also be one of the chatelains of one of the most beautiful castles in France, as well as the proprietor of one of the oldest working mills in France. She has promised if any of you are interested that we can go get a tour of this extraordinary place. But most importantly, she's one of my oldest, dearest, and best friends. And she's the one who introduced me to porcelain painting. She's also an extraordinary oil painter and I can't wait to show you what she's working on. So here we are, I have all of my paints out, but more beautifully, here are all of Anne's paints. She has wonderful pigments. And everyone, I introduce to you one of my best friends in the world, Anne. We're here actually working in the kitchen because it was a perfect opportunity to paint, to eat, and to enjoy each other's company. So Anne, what, what painting are you working on today? A Vermeer painting. It's an incredible it's copy. It's our Lord with St. Martha uh, and Mary. What's incredible is that it, it really is an almost exact reproduction that you've created of the original. Just about. Ah, uh, I love this. The stick. What do you call the stick? Uh, uh, une, une canne de peintre. Canne de peintre. And Vermeer used to have those sort of things. It's very convenient because you just can put it on the canvas and work the details. With precision. With precision. And, and you don't get time because you put just your hand on it and you put it 
all, all the way around and you, you can paint like that. Amazing. And then just for reference, could you hold up the, the picture that you're, that you're copying from? Yes, I can. I mean, look at that. Isn't that incredible, everyone? I'm just astonished. It's so beautiful and I'm always inspired. But mostly we sit and we listen to music and we chat. And we chat. And Vivian is doing such a lovely, lovely work. She's very, very gifted. <laughs> Thank <very>. you. <laughs> Everyone who's been watching my videos has been seeing little glimpses of the porcelain that I paint, but you are the one that introduced me all those years ago to porcelain painting. And tell us how many plates have you painted over the years? Over those 10 past years, I have nearly painted 100 of them, 100 plates. Over a hundred plates, so it's a dinner service for how many people? It's a dinner service for 24 people. But I divide it into two because I'm giving them to my sons. We learned the techniques of Sèvres and Limoges, which are completely different to pottery painting, the absolutely, faience. Absolutely. And so later in this episode, I'm going with some friends who visited last week to see how faience is painted by an old master. But today we're going to work on this project and also you and I are going to try to see if we can copy the look of faience on a tile. And hopefully idea. we're going to have some luck. Also, some of you may have noticed that Anne came with the best apron ever. It's Toile de Jouy. I love it. <laughs> we, are, we all love Toile de Jouy. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Welcome to La Croix We're going to go have so much fun today. So we're going to cross this beautiful little river, which is the Little Loire, Le Loire. And so many delightful geraniums. Yes. <laughs> They're all geraniums, sweetheart. We know how much you no, love geraniums. I had no idea <laughs> how many varieties there were. Yes. <laughs> From the look of things, there too. <laughs> Red and pink. So you see, in our little village, there are over a hundred people with antique stores and artists and winemakers. And it's also a busy week for traffic because this weekend is the 100-year anniversary of the Le Mans 24-hour race. Here we are looking at a wonderful plan of our village, La Chatte sur le Loire. You can see the depictions of our vineyards fruit growing, the village, and all of the things around us, like the wonderful lake. And everywhere we go in our village, we have these tiles painted by Monsieur Boulot himself. This is it right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at these. The Atelier de l'Europe. Oh, these would be perfect for the Atelier Cuisine. Yeah, they actually would be. That's exactly the sort of thing we're looking for. He doesn't still paint them, does he? Well, that's a very good question to ask him. Mm. The He's been doing this for, I would guess, nigh on 80 years. <laughs> so you want to lead the way? Do we go in? Yes. <laughs> Your mother would love this place. Are you go. Oh, I love the nativity. Monsieur Desson. Bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Bonjour. Enchanté encore. Michel Boileau. Michel, monsieur Boileau. Monsieur Mon Simon. mari, Simon. Bonjour, je suis Stéphanie. Bonjour, Philippe. Philippe. Monsieur Boileau, je comprends vous parle anglais. Je peux parler un tout petit peu anglais. May we speak a little English entre les deux? All around the, the town we've been looking, it's beautiful. And the, the, pharma, the ancient pharmacy. Yes, the big one that's brown and white. Oh, yes. oh. The alchemist 
Yes. Oh. I, uh, I put my, uh, my clothes. It's a uh, historic clothes. Nice. <laughs> Half a century old. Really? All my exhibition, all my exhibition. <laughs> Okay. Very handsome. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Oh. 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 To tie up the horses. Can I put your number to tie up the horse? Uh, who learned the painting in Aix-en-Provence? Uh, the place of Cézanne and uh, uh, to have a, 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 a better uh, formation mm -hmm. I go to Paris and in Paris uh, I married my wife a painter and so mm -hmm. all the paintings are from me Before 64. Mm, ils sont magnifiques. Oui. C'est toujours des peintures de jeunesse. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I was young. Yes. But, but with a, a good uh, pencil. Yes. J'aime beaucoup celui-ci. I really like that, this one. Mm. I was, I was uh, 70. It's you. Is when it? I painted. Est-ce que c'est vous? C'est un yes, portrait de vous? Yes, portrait. So interesting. Works when and you have this plane. Comment on dit la, la belle sœur? Your sister-in-law. Uh, make the clay and then put on the make the earth and then put on the clay and and after. The design with mineral colors and after all is cooked. So we're going back into the atelier. <gasps> Horses come here. Ah, so this is an old, an old um, Écurie. stables. We say écurie. Yes. That was uh, for the horses, like that, like that. Electric with fire. So the pottery. Mm -hmm. Goes uh, uh, in the uh, destroyed all the yeah, uh, it's very old. Okay, My this goodness. is for the pottery. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> c'est le, le bazar. <laughs> Comment dit-on bazar? A bazar, it's the same word in English. <laughs> Big mess, we say. <laughs> ah, la vraie atelier, but uh, I have no more glaze. No time. more glaze, no more pottery. Ah, Simply cool. some uh, tiles, mm -hmm. you see, and uh, with the colors, mineral colors, after. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. And do you still paint? You do still paint the painting? Yes, I do. That's magnifique. Wow. The moulin de la levée. That's my last commande. Oui. My oh. last commande. It's a very long Blue, blue Delft. Perfect for you, Phil. I feel very honored to be watching this. Such a steady hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
a simple combination of different techniques mm -hmm. and just a few lines of each. Yeah. So, Monsieur, when this goes in the the oven, after it becomes blue delft. Two, one, and two. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. I seem to be so brilliant. Yeah. But imagine something like this can become that vibrant. Yeah. Yes. From the, the alchemy. Yeah. Just to finish the trees. No. Very simple because. Uh, Okay. Okay, okay. Le merci de nous avoir montré ce pays. Voilà, on va aller voir ailleurs là-bas. It's a, a garden. It's my work. <coughs> From here. You have the church to the right. Really? Which view? We're in heaven. That way. Just behind you, Simon. Near the compass. Here. Yeah. For the for the grapevines. Look, he made a little sign. Uh, plenty of. Um, Raisin. Mm. Yes, grapes. Many grapes, grapes in summer. But uh, now uh, the these was the, uh, the buds. This was all buds. Eat them before me. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we're walking into My this donkey mood. stables. Everyone needs one. <laughs> example. Example of. Before or uh, the both, uh, okay, and uh, and my wife had her atelier here after. You come I, to tell your story. I, I, I make a white tales, all sorts of, of ideas, uh -huh. and uh, a. a I, I listen to them here with people here. here. Oh, oh okay, you read them. Mm -hmm. Voila. So he sits and writes his stories and shares them with groups to come yeah. here. What a place to hear them. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> this hasn't changed. This place hasn't changed. Fifty? Yeah, that's since he since he lived here. I mean really. I feel so privileged yeah. that you've brought us here. Nineteen thirty. I know. Like, like eighteen eighty frankly. Like time hasn't touched it for decades. I don't think time has touched it for decades actually. You have a slide? This is rather beautiful This must be his wife. French language. Yeah. So yeah. I love it with the pince nez. Yes. Uh, Paris, mm -hmm. we were four years to, uh, to have exhibitions about uh, our paintings. Mm -hmm. so we have uh, plenty of exhibitions with, oh, yeah. um, with a friend, uh -huh. boys and girls. Yeah. And uh, on, on galleries in uh, near Saint Germain des Prés, you mm -hmm. see? And uh, we were uh, two painters married and after two children and uh, exit Paris mm -hmm. and come here. Very mm. glad during 60 years here. Very glad. Mm. It's a nice place mm -hmm. and uh, people are very friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> you see uh, my, my collection? Ah, it's a big collection of pipes. 
Oh, puis là aussi, euh, des fois, je voyais une, une pipe que je trouvais très jolie, quoi. C'est ça, les collectionneurs. See, everything is about the tobacco, or that he's got tiles oh, of, of tobacco and pipes right there. Oh, that's a <laughs> Wow. <laughs> German. Here, it was uh, about uh, uh, the, the Camargue. <gasps> wow! Les taureaux de Camargue. Look at that, it's a bull. <laughs> Pour mettre les pommes, les faire griller. Oh. Ah! Mettez les pommes. So to grill apples? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, then you do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. But I love this, it, the old uh, ah, way that they used to iron, the, the ancient irons. Une brique, on la faisait chauffer dans le four. Quelle bonne idée. Mm -hmm. Et puis après, on mettait là-dessus. On attendait un peu, puis on mettait sous les draps. Ah, pour chauffer oh, le lit. Oui. La couverture so, électrique. A bed warmer. <laughs> Fantastic. These are examples that people can have, or people could have had for their ah, de la kitchen. Mais les carreaux peints avec la main, c'est tout, tout les, sous les murs, tout ça, c'est. This is very beautiful. This is you? Oh, it's an example of uh, Giverny. Ah, Monet. La maison de Monet. Oui. So, here's the picture of the kitchen of the house of Monet at Giverny. So, the inspiration is very similar for everything that we see here. Oh, C'est tout une ville. Apparently, we're heading to the 18th century. Why does it not even surprise I know. I'm getting quite comfortable back in time. Yes. We're going to the 60s, and I thought we were at least back to 1900, but no, we're going 100 years earlier than that. Exactly. Yes, it's a time. Oh, the chimney is exceptional. And some of them are for sale. It's it's random which ones are. Yes. But they're so incredible. You see, he would use these to show like what the tiles would look around. Like he'll, I'm sure he'll explain, but what they would look like around in a kitchen or around a, a fireplace. And some of them are labeled, like this is an entire house. Um, and he would make these little, you know, houses. You can look at them for hours. Mm -hmm. And the little painting that he did before, once it's fired, it looks like this. Incredible. Uh, so you guys have just been given beautiful gifts. You have a jug of love. A jug, and he's given Philip the bride. I mean, apparently, you can tell. Apparently, they're they're. There is love in the air. Yes, here. he does say we should be married. Yes. <laughs> so you heard it 
You heard it here. I don't know. I feel like I feel like we cannot argue with our elders. Ah, c'est quoi ça? Vous pouvez mettre de la confiture, vous pouvez mettre des cerises à l'eau de vie, vous pouvez mettre du schnapps. I think he is the most original thing here, isn't he? He's gorgeous. A blue and white and yellow and he painted tortoise. And from his expression, he knows how magnificent he is. He knows. Look, every single little tile on his back is a scene. So we're now in the studio of the wife of Monsieur Boileau, and her work is really wonderful. C'est très différent de moi. Different to Monsieur Boileau, mais ça vous donne, ouais. Very wonderful. This one is my favorite. This is life after the war. So you see here we have the suffering. And then you have the horrors. But also then you have joy, love, and happiness. It's really wonderful. I found a painting that you like. Yes. It's very beautiful. Yes. Monsieur Boileau? Monsieur Boileau? When did you paint this? When did you paint this, yeah. In 1958. Uh, dans les Vosges. Dans les Vosges. Okay. Yeah. Les montagnes. A forest yeah. in the Vosges. It's beautiful. So, no, so I have two oh, hat stands. But look, they're so beautiful. Each one has a little scene. This one is all boats, and this one is houses. Okay. I think they're so pretty, and I love the colors. But my favorite thing is behind me. Thank you for my birthday present, sweetheart. Oh, a second one. Yes. Actually, a third one. Look at that. Tell us about this. What is this? This is the Cap du Pays de Tendre. Uh -huh. So this is a copy of something that was painted for the court of Louis XIV. And it's a game and depending on the route you take, it determines the direction of your relationship. So you see there's indiscretion, or there's generosity, there's tenderness, there's the sea of intimacy, or the dangerous sea, or la the lake of indifference. So it's really, really fantastic. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's wonderful. Thank you I like, so I like much. the top part here. It says obeisance. What does, that, what does that mean? I think that means you should obey me. Oh, oh I should obey <laughs> yes. you. Okay. That's exactly okay. what that well, means. He is, because you chose to buy it. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think when, when I said I would like to buy it. So it's, it's I'm just proving the, I'm proving the point. <laughs> exactly. It's so typical somehow. Look, we have paintings. I know. Beautiful stands, a wall clock, and what have we got here, darling? Oh. A tortoise. A tortoise. The solar lamp. Kitchen camo tortoise. <laughs> and, and what an incredible day out. I mean, every best, time we look day. at these, we're going to think about what fun we had. I love it. What a wonderful <laughs> man. This reminds me a little bit of our trip to Egypt. Look at the boats. They're, they're like they're on yes. the Nile. Yes. What they called felucas. Felucas, felucas. yeah, they like the felucas. And you know what else I like? It matches your shirt. I think yes, you do. Oh, Simon you can pad. Simon and dress shorts. For the outfit today. I dressed, I dressed to buy files. <laughs> Behind us. There he is, the man himself. Yes. In all of his glory, Monsieur Boileau as an alchemist. Little did he know when he made this painting that his tortoise would be coming to life. Uh, yes. And his wig stands are coming to my kitchen. <laughs> and his, uh, his Louis the 15th love game as well. Because yes. that's what every kitchen needs. Of course. I can't believe we didn't get a love game back. Well, we can go back tomorrow. <laughs> There's still time. <laughs> but but at least, um, at least you got your little Wedding jar. A little wedding jar. <laughs> Very cute back there with your with your new little baby. <laughs> Does he have a name? Yes. What is his Michel. name? Michel. Named oh. after the artist. Oh. Michel La Tortue. Yeah. And he's quite excited to come to that artist. Yes, he's going to be well loved, I think. Yeah. What we should do is actually install him on top of the robot cleaner <laughs> and then he can just wander around the chateau. <laughs>
He might fall off and that would be sad. We have to take good care of Michelle. So here we have a collection of all of today's treasures. The big, the small, the delightful, the somewhat grumpy, the delicious, the informative, the beautiful, and mmm, I think it's time for dinner. Those baguettes look like they're ready to be put out and somebody's already had a nibble. <laughs> what a good day. And now it's time for the perfect end to a perfect day. So Anne, this is where I was last week with our friends Stephanie and Philip and Simon. And it was an incredible tour. And so today we're going to try to recreate this style. Yes, I think it's a great idea. I'm excited about painting with my friend here that I've now got three projects on the go. I've got the picture that I'm working on for Isabella, some tiles. We're going to try to make a copy, a modern copy of what we've seen of the hand-painted faience from Michel Boileau. And here is one of my bird plates. This is in one of its, this is at kind of the halfway stage. So I've already added the gold. This is two or three coats of the paint, but I have maybe three or four more layers to go to give it depth. Then it'll be the background and the black edging, which is actually harder than it looks. <laughs> so, um, wow, so many things to do. I best get cracking. Inspiration, we have Michelle's hat stand, one of the hat stands which is nice because it's got shades of blue and green and yellow. This is a plate from Delft, an actual Delft plate signed on the back. And this is a Portuguese plate. I really, really love this one. And so we have different styles of painting of the ceramics of the faience. And let's see if we can do something that looks even remotely similar. Anne is drawing a copy of Delft. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's really splendid. And here is mine. I think for a first effort, it turned out pretty well. Harrison, I'm going to show you an example of what we normally do, which is the painting on the porcelain. That's one of my plates. And then if we come over here, these are the two tiles that Anne and I just did. We didn't do it in the traditional style of Del from Sir Boileau, which is baking into the pottery. We kind of mixed some of our porcelain skills, which is painting into the glaze, and then firing, but I think it actually worked out pretty well. And if any of you out there would like to know how to do this and would like me to show you how to do this in a video, it's a lot easier than you think. I was a painter like her, and we had an exhibition in Paris, <laughs> and uh, we buy that uh, house. It's better for the trade, for the children, and so mm -hmm. on. And, and I think uh, never, uh, never I have, how uh, do you say, regretted. Regretted. Regretted, yeah. Never regretted. Oh. Never regretted it. Yeah. Safe oh, travels. Love we love you guys. Bye. See you Bye. soon. Bye. We will see you.
very soon. And we're so glad that you could join us. Yeah. to your heart I'm in a world apart